different ways. All right, here we go with continuing the workflow. And in semesters past, I just have like five, five videos in sequence of me just copying and pasting, copying and pasting onto the stage, right? I'm trying to, to make this a little bit more direct. So you'll see me repeat those steps. Just so I drill it into you. But this is the animation we have so far. And so far we're at 10 frames and I'm just to, to here basically where the glow is, it's in between these two frames. So my timing is pretty even. And I'm looking at the character movement. And I'm looking especially at the tongue. Because the tongue is annoying me. So I'm going to have it keep its tongue in its mouth now. And I've moved, I've moved some of the things. But I have not moved the roof yet. And I have not moved the creature yet. So let's do that. And I like to use Puppet Warp, but you can just as easily move your creature just by using the Move tool or by um, trans transforming it, shrinking it. What I like about Puppet Warp is you can lock some of the pieces into place. And now I want to bring my wings a little bit more into frame. Maybe that's too much. No, that's kind of nice. They do have to be careful. Well, no, it's fine. It's a GIF animation. <laughs> you don't have to be careful. You guys, you just do you. Open up the roof a little bit more. And get the glow going a little bit stronger. Remember, you have control of opacities. Hmm. So even though it's the underside of the roof, it doesn't feel like it. So I think I need to, in context of the story, I think I need to make this maybe a little darker. So I'm just going to burn it a little using these direct adjustments. What am I looking at? Here we go. So there's more of a change. So it's like we're looking at the underside. And then maybe extend it just a little bit. Like so. This is not the art form for perfectionists. So, all right, there we go. Let's see, is everything moving? Yes. Okay, good. Go up to the top, hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible. That's called a safe merge when you hold down option. And then command C, go to the stage, command V. Big kind of hunching down, should really focus our attention on the church. Command D to deselect, delete that merge layer, move the ice. After I get to the midpoint, I'm gonna start moving the ice the other way so that it it gets back to the beginning. Then go to, let's see, my creature. One more. Now the problem with puppet warping after puppet warping after puppet warping, if you do it um, quite dramatically each time, kind of like I'm doing to these wings, you see how things get bent out of place. 
And so eventually I'll want to go back to my original creature, my hero pose. Okay, so what have I got going? Got the ice moving. Oh, I didn't move this one. Maybe that's good. Let's see, let's move just a little bit. And now I've got to play with church a little bit more. Open up that roof all the way. Let's darken it, because I think that was helpful. And now let's go for the full glow. In fact, I might need to move that above the church roof. Yeah, so it starts to affect the, the color of the opening. Yeah, that's nice. And I can even start turning on the tractor beam, see what that looks like. That's a little intense, though. I'll give the slight hint only at 23%. So that starts to change the lighting a little bit. Okay, good. Option, layer, merge visible. Remember, do it from the very top layer. So it's at the top. Command A to select, Command C to copy, go to the stage, Command V, paste it in. Ooh, I like that, that glowing church. Okay. Save it. So far, so good. So now I'm to the big, I'm to the middle. Now I'm going to start moving the ice flows the other direction, and the beam's going to start to grow. Deselect, delete. Start moving the ice the other way, moving it back into place. Slowly at first. Well, I don't think I played with the opacities last time, so let's play with them every once in a while. So I am moving the mist. Okay, now I'm going to make the tractor beam a little bit stronger. And I can play with the glow in a variety of ways. I can spread it out more, like so. Let's see what else. And my creature, if I really have a cycle going, then I can kind of move it through another pose I've already done. You don't always have to create a new one. So maybe that one, but without the tongue. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Let's go back to this one. All right. Looks good. Hold down Option, Layer, Merge Visible, Command A, Command C, paste it to the stage, save it. Yeah, so now I'm almost ready to do my next animation test, but I want to get the full beam going. So I need to bring the beam up to full opacity. And it's just a lot of patience is needed for this work.
and it can get kind of tedious. I've never done an animation that at times didn't feel tedious. But people who love it, they feel like it pays off in the end. But what it is doing in terms of learning digital art is it's really helping you pay attention to all these compositing factors and your layer control. And now I just get to use my old frames so it goes a little faster. And the roof stays where it is and the glow stays where it is. Now I'm just doing the tractor beam. And that looks like that that light is kind of breaking the fog a little. Merge visible, holding down options, select all, copy, paste. I'm up to 14 frames. I think it'll probably be about 30 or so frames for me to be finished. I just have to keep my mind in it. I really like this trick of having texture overlays um, at different opacities. You don't have to move anything and it will look like they're moving because different things will layer up with each other. And then the tractor beam. Let's layer up the next one at a lower opacity. See, now the roof is almost completely obliterated. You can still see it there. You can barely see it here. And it's starting to bring the bird a little closer. Yep, well, that works. Hold down Option, click Merge Visible, Command A, Command C, go to your stage, Command V to paste it in. For those of you who are trying to animate all in one file with the frames, you're just going to get very frustrated a lot of times. It can be a worthwhile experience, but this is the method I found that's just, you don't lose any of your work and it all makes sense as you go. Save my stage. Move the ice back, this, this, move this. That. Move this up. Hmm. Yeah, I think that works. Okay. Command A, Command C, Command B after merging it. All right, now is a good time to do an animation test. Because this is basically once he gets starts to get sucked in, right? So we're right at the end of this frame. And you get to decide on the timing of all these things, of course. So how do I...